Guess what we're doing today? So since we did our morning routine video, you guys have been asking us to do a night routine video. So that is what we're going to show you today. This is our pretty standard nighttime routine. This will go from dinner time to just after dinner time. Let's get into it. And also, if you haven't seen our morning routine video, I will link it up in the cards and down in the video description below. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? How about you? Are you hungry? Come on, let's get some food. So we feed our dogs three times a day. They get a half a cup of food at each meal. They get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You guys want to see us do a lunchtime routine video? I guess I could always do that as well. I will put some links down below to some of the things you will be seeing in today's video, including like the food we feed them. Dinner time is a little bit different than breakfast time. We always put extra things on top of the dog's food. And during dinner time, we tend to put either the primal bone broth or the primal scoop and serve raw bits on their food, basically to just give them something different. On top of the food, this is also the time of the day when Oakley gets her pain medication. We actually put it in a little pill pocket and I'll put it on top of her food. Uh, she gets one Rimadyl pill a day. We usually give it to her at dinner time because it seems to help her the most at night with falling asleep just with a little less pain. Oakley has arthritis in case you guys didn't know. She's 14 years old. She's a little bit of an older dog. So once that's all prepared, it's time for them to eat. If you watched our morning routine video, you may notice that we don't use cheese at nighttime on their food. The raw bits that we use and the bone broth actually work at nighttime just to kind of, like around. I said before, give them something a little bit different to entice them to eat their Good. food. Speak. So once everybody has finished eating, of course, it's time to go outside in the yard for a little bit. Every time after they eat, we let them go outside so they can go to the bathroom and just kind of wander around. Not necessarily to play because we don't want them to be too active just after eating. Memphis, though, has a tendency to not want to go outside and she has to check everybody's bowls and we make sure that there's nothing on, left outside. behind before she'll actually go outside. Go outside. Now, while the dogs are outside in the yard, I can actually see them right through our kitchen window. So I usually take this time to wash and clean all of their dishes, starting with their water dishes. Now, we refill their water dishes multiple times throughout the day, and we usually rinse them when we refill them. But I actually try to wipe them out at least once a night, just so they don't have that nasty film on it. Same thing with their food bowls. I usually rinse them after they eat, depending on what they've had in them. But I try to actually wash them out at night, just so they don't have a lot of bacteria or get that gross slimy film on them. It's a very good practice and something that I recommend you do with your dog's bowls at least once a day. After I'm done washing their water bowls and food dishes, I usually go hang out in the backyard with them. Sometimes Jamie and I are both out there together with them. Sometimes we just sit out there. Sometimes we play. Sometimes we let them play in the pool. Really depends on the weather, what we end up doing. And then eventually after being out there for a little while, we let everybody in to get a fresh drink of water. So about an hour after they eat, depending on the weather, it is time for some exercise. It's time to take the dogs for a bike ride. Now this isn't something we do every night. The weather definitely has to be perfect. And it was about 67 degrees tonight, which is borderline. But since we don't go for very far, I decided to go ahead and take Memphis and Shelby for a bike ride around the neighborhood. The system we use when we bike with our dogs, it's called a Springer, and I actually have quite a few old videos that teach you how to do this with your dog. I will put links to them up in the cards and down in the video description below. We do about one mile, again, depending. In the spring and fall, we try to go a little bit further because it's a little bit nicer out. Um, Oakley does not do the biking. Oakley gets to go for a short little walk usually between a quarter of a mile and a half a mile, depending on how she's feeling or how she's moving around that night. She used to bike with us, but again, Oakley's 14 years old, so she doesn't do that as much anymore. 
So once everybody is done with their exercise, it's time for a treat. Sometimes I feel like we give our dogs a lot of treats, but they do only get a cup and a half of food a day, so it kind of balances itself out for sure. And then it's basically just time to chill out for a little bit for the rest of the night. They usually end up laying down and just relaxing. And that's about it until it's bedtime. And I think bedtime should be another video. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Do you want to see our actual bedtime routine? I felt like if I added it to this, it just might end up being too long because we do have an interesting bedtime routine for the dog. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys would like to see. What's up guys? My name's Jess. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Click that little like button if you're new here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so you'll know whenever we put up new videos. And for those of you that may not know, we do have an Instagram that you can follow us on. Instagram.com slash gone to the snow dogs. Twitter, Facebook, we have a special group for members of our podience, which if you don't know, that's what we call you guys. You're the podience. Get it? Podience? Anyway, all of those links are down in the video description below. This, this is a daily occurrence. Never stop petting the puppy. Never stop petting Memphis. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, as I said, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know what you thought down in the comments below. If you're new here, don't forget to... <laughs> I get distracted. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. And if you want to see more of who we are and what we do, you can check us out over at our vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. You're a riot. Goodbye, guys.